Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a little program called GDU. Now GDU is a disk space management tool written in Go. And it is meant for SSDs, but you can use it for your hard drives. And basically what it does is it allows you to go through and view your file system sorted by size or other ways and hunt and find for those files that are taking up a ton of space on your drives and delete them if you can. Now, I'm going to put this right up front. Don't delete something unless you know exactly what it is. Because if you delete something and you turns out your system actually needs that file or a program needs that file, you could end up boinking things. So just be careful when you're going through and using tools like this. Now, a lot of tools, there are many different tools that allow you to manage your disks. And a lot of them are based on a terminal command called du. And du is great if you're more focused on just running things in the terminal and not really caring how they look or how they work or stuff like that. If you want to get into like the very nerdy way of managing stuff, du is great. And there are many different f applications built upon that. So there's GUI ones, there's terminal-based ones. They're all kind of built on, on the shoulders of du. And gdu is another one of those, only it's written, like I said, it was written in Go, and it's meant to be fast. So a lot of these tools are actually pretty slow, but GDU is actually fairly quick. Now, I, I say fairly quick, but if you're running this on regular hard drives, you'll notice that it's just as slow as DU is, because it still has to, it's very limited based on the speed of your drives. So if you're running it on an SSD, you'll notice that this is very fast, even if you have a large SSD, but if you're running it on a, a mechanical hard drive, it's going to take a long time to actually scan those files. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how to use this. You can install GDU from the AUR or you can install it via Snap. There are a few other ways to install that and I will leave a link to the GitHub page for GDU in the show notes and you can go ahead and take a look there There, because there are a few other ways you can install this. So once you have it installed you can run it by going GDU in the terminal and that will show you your home directory. By default, it's sorted by size, so you're getting the, the biggest files first, and it goes down to the smallest files. You can sort it in any number of ways. You can reverse the sort of the size by hitting S, and that will show you the smallest to the biggest. You can also support sort by name by hitting N, and that will show you alphabetical, and you hit N again, and it will show you alphabetical reversed. And you can go back to size by hitting S twice, and that will go through and get you back to where you were. Now there are a few ways to navigate. You can use the arrow keys. So if you go up and down, we'll take you up and down, obviously. And you can do, use right to go into a file, left to go out of a file, and that's how you navigate with the arrow keys. If you are more comfortable with them keys, you can use J and K to go up and down, L to go in, H to go back out. And if you're in the, like, let's say you're way down here at the bottom, you know, in the middle somewhere, and you want to go back to the top, GD, GG will take you back to the top. Capital G will take you to the bottom. Okay. Now, if you want to delete something, you can do so very easily. You can go through and let's, let me find something here that I can delete. So I can go into the cache file here and probably yay, because there's probably something here that I can delete. Yep, I can delete this here. To delete it, you just hit the letter D, just kind of like you would in Vim. And in this case, it's going to ask you, are you sure? And you can disable this by saying, don't ask me again. I'm going to have it keep asking me just in case. I always ask for confirmation. So just hit yes, and then it's been deleted. So that is GDU in a nutshell. Now, if you want to view something else outside of your home directory, you can do so very easily. So Q to quit, we'll just use GDU-D. And that will show you all of the drives mounted to your system. Now, I have two SSDs here. I can hit the SS other SSD and that will actually show up fairly fast and then I can just navigate like just like I did with the uh, in my home directory. Now I'm gonna back out of this and run this again. And this drive here is a mechanical external hard drive. It's ginormous, has 1.6 terabytes on it, and it's gonna take forever to load. And I'm just going to show you this, and it's not going to act. I'm not actually going to make you sit here and wait for it, but I'm going to just hit enter, and it's going to go through and take quite a bit of time. Now, it's not going to take a ton of time. It's faster than what I would say other ones, other tools similar to this are, 
but it does take sometimes it's definitely not as fast as those ssds were and you can expect that because it takes longer to go through and scan something on a mechanical drive than it does on an ssd now it'll also take longer if your ex your external hard drive isn't spool up mine spools down over time so the reason why this one actually is going faster than i saw earlier is because my drive's actually connected and i'm up, up and running so i'm actually surprised at how quick this was but i'm still going to go ahead and just quit because we don't need to sit through that whole thing so let's go ahead before we jump out of this and just look at the man page and this will kind of show you just how simple this application is there's not a ton to this man page it's only i don't know a few few lines long you get help you can ignore certain directories if you especially if you're running it on root you can get the log file you can use no colors no cross do not cross file system boundaries um no progress that doesn't sh that will make so you don't show the progress mode uh, when you're deleting large files and stuff non-interactive do not run in interactive mode i'm not exactly sure what that means show disks that would show all mounted disks so that's the d option that we just use show parent size and uh, show version that's literally all there is now i use a few different flags and stuff and you can go through this and it, you know if you get one of these errors and stuff so that is gdu in a nutshell there's not a lot to it and it's very simple and like i said it's very fast especially compared to some of the other ones now especially the gui tools that are like this a lot of them are very slow even on ssds because they're trying to do things in graphical magical ways that oftentimes take up more system resources and more time so i like gdu it's one of those tools that I'm just going to keep installing my system. I'll be able to go through and do some hunting and pecking for some of those pesky cache files. So, like I back up my system every single night. So every every night, my system is backing up that yay cache file, and it really does not need to do that, but it does. So I have like 12 or 13 copies at any given time of that yay cache file on my external hard drive. And each one of those is like 7 or 8 gigabytes, and I could go through and delete all of those. And that would save me quite a bit of space. And I'm pretty sure everybody's is like that. Everybody has these files that are backed up that you don't really need to be backed up. And you can just go through and delete them using a tool like GDU. And it's easier than going through and CD slash run slash media slash, you know, whatever. Trying to get into those things and then deleting them willy nilly, you know, one file at a time. So one thing I didn't notice was a way to down to delete multiple files at once I'm not sure if you can do that I haven't really experimented with that I'm sure there's probably is a way let me go actually go look and see I'm curious so if we just do GDU again and we can just go into the downloads folder and say if I wanted to delete my ISOs if I hit no I thought maybe if I hit the space file that would a lot the space bar would let me select multiples um yeah i don't see a way here to, to, to select multiple f files so that's one area that this is kind of lacking because i would like to be able to go through and de select multiple files at once you know and delete them all at once that'd be kind of cool anyways doesn't really matter it's still cool still something that i'll use and i hope you found it interesting as well. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. You can do so at the LinuxCast. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. And with that in mind, I would like to thank our patrons. Devon, Zach, Marcus, Merrick, and Camp. Thanks for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.